everybody, this is Ms. Rufo and welcome to the Enrichment Channel. Today, we're gonna to talk about these guys right here, the Kalamundan Orange. So this is my plant, my tree, and it's about six years old. So I got it when it was teeny tiny. Um, and right now it's harvest time, so I'm gonna pick these oranges. So I thought, hey, before I pick these things, why don't I give a quick chat about what the Kalamundan Orange is all about. It is a super easy citrus to grow. It originated from China, came to the US about in the 20th century. And these oranges, if you can see these little guys, they're tiny and you think, oh, these are just like tangerines. No, no, no. These are not like tangerines. These are not sweet. They may be cute to look at, but they are not sweet. You eat one of these bad boys, it's like a cross between a uh, Sour Patch Kid, a lemon, and a grapefruit all in one. So you're thinking, why in the world do I have these things? Well, this, these oranges make a mean pie. So you like key lime pie, instead of using lime, you put Kalamundan oranges in it. Um, they last forever. And they're easy, as you can see, we're in Massachusetts, it's March. This thing has been inside with me since October. Um, about May, I'll gradually put this thing back outside where it will love the sun and love the air and come back in here and give me all these cool oranges. So in Asia, uh, primarily the Philippines, uh, Malaysia, India, um, this tree is used for medicinal purposes. That means um, they use it for medicine. They use it to treat things. Um, and these are very rich in vitamin C. They're used as a cough suppressant. They're so tart, they almost have like a antiseptic feel to it. So they, they're used to suppress coughs. Um, they're actually used to take stains out of clothing. You have a stain, squeeze one of these on your stain. I have not tried it because of course I don't make stains. Um, but I bet if you wanted to try it, you could. Um, what else? These things are used to take uh, skin blemishes. So if you have a dark spot, maybe an age spot, again, I haven't gotten those yet because I'm still 23. Um, you can put some of those on your face, make a little paste, let the juice, we're using the juice, people. We're not taking this, let me cut one of these for you. By the way, these are clean, so I don't want any you know, plant people saying that I'm doing bad things. I washed this with a nice little Dawn. So I don't want to give my, um, my tree any diseases, but you take, you peel this just like a regular orange. Oops, I'm getting that on the floor. If you want to come in here and, and see, the skin is very, very, very fine and very, very, very thin. Um, and if I plan this better, you can see the inside of these have little seeds in them. But the, they're so juicy for being so small. I'm just gonna try one. Yep, real, real. Yep, that will get you hot. Um, so you take the juice, you squeeze it. You can make a paste out of it. Again, you can take blemishes off. You actually can use it if you have sores in your mouth. Again, I haven't tried this yet. People said that if you have sores in your mouth, it eases the sores. Um, but I just, it's just, this tree is so lovely because it brings the tropics into your home. Again, um, I'm in Massachusetts and this tree lives outside from safely June 1st to right when you think a frost is gonna hit. Although these are cold hardy in the sense that you could gamble with these. I wouldn't, but you, I bet they would survive temperatures for short periods of time, probably at like 35, 30, but again, I wouldn't try it. You bring them in home, at, in, in the house, and these things flourish. I probably have a hundred um, of these little oranges. So like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to harvest them today. Some of them I'll keep to eat. Um, I don't know why, uh, but some of them I'm going to uh, use the juices. Uh, for some good vitamins, I'm definitely going to use the juice and make a Kalamundan pie, A plus. You probably need about 20 of these oranges. Um, it's unbelievable, so good. So 
Um, you can see that citrus should be grown. It, in my preference, citrus should be grown in clay pots. Clay pots are porous. Please don't tell me that, you know, some of you are looking at that, oh my God, that's mold. No, it's not. The pot breathes. Minerals come out of the pot. These things do not like their roots sitting in water. Um, actually, the soil is this, the citrus soil that I use um, is, is, a, is a very dry mix. It dries out quickly, again, because the um, plant does not want to sit in excess amounts of water. Um, super easy to grow. Again, this is about seven years old. One of the easiest citruses to grow, I'm going to talk about the Ponderosa lemon next, but the Kalamundin orange, the Meyer lemon, the Ponderosa lemon, all super easy to grow. If you want something different in your house, um, jump out and get one of these. I got one of these at a local store, um, local Connecticut, um, but you can get them online. Um, try, get one in your house. It'll make you happy. You can pretend you're in Florida, but you're really in snowy Massachusetts. It's a wonderful thing. So that's your enrichment part one for today. Part two is going to happen with my Ponderosa 11. So see you in a second.